Hi there, my name is Ashley and I work for Daniel Elaine. And we know that wearing wigs or choosing the right wig can be very overwhelming, especially when you don't know where to start. So today we are gonna be talking about the differences between synthetic wigs and human hair wigs. And we have a very special guest today with us who has worn both types and who is very knowledgeable in both of them. So thank you so much, Miss Mirna, for being with us. You are so welcome. Appreciate it as always. And let's jump right into it. If if you don't mind, what some of the pros and cons are of the two different categories. Um, when I think about synthetic wigs, one of the first things I think about is that it's ready to wear. It is straight out of the box, you can plop her on and she has the style baked into it. Nice. So not a whole lot of uh, fuss and mess in the beginning. No, she's super low maintenance. All your synthetic styles will be super low maintenance. Um, you wear her, you take her off, you put her back on the wig stand, you wash her, you put her back on the wig stand, it's gonna still be that baked in style. Nice, okay, so what are some other pros too? Some other pros are um, they range in a ton of colors and styles. Um, so if you're new to wig wearing and you're not quite sure where to start, you can do a lot of t testers for a very low price point. Oh, awesome, awesome. So what else can you think of? Is there anything else that really strikes you as a pro to wearing a synthetic? Yeah, like I mentioned a second ago, um, they are lower cost, so um, it's help helpful for those that have a uh, budget in mind. Ah, uh, we do hear that often, right? It's like, I don't want to spend a lot on a first piece. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy wearing wigs. Right. So synthetic, it sounds like, is a great place to right. start. Right, exactly. You can be testing out different colors and styles and lengths without, you know, hurting that wallet too much. So Mirna, what are some of the cons with wearing a synthetic wig? So one of the cons of a synthetic wig is lack of natural movement. So I have a synthetic piece right here. And if you'll notice, the movement is just not as, as natural as it would be for a human hair piece. It's a little stiffer, especially when it's on your head. It kind of just sticks. You know, do you um, find with a when you brush through it is does it feel the same? Yes, no, it doesn't actually. So um, if I was to take a brush and brush my human hair, it's very smooth and easy to brush through. With a synthetic piece, you could. I'm having a tough time brushing through the piece. Um, the other thing with a synthetic piece is that there's a sheen, there's this shine that comes to that synthetic fiber. So it's just not as natural. Um, another thing with um, synthetic is that over time and over um, wear, the wear that you have, the friction of the fiber against clothing or furniture, um, things such as that, um, cause it to start to frizz and fray at the bottom. So it's not gonna be as nice to the touch. Okay. So that makes a little bit um, difficult with ease of use. Um, another con that I would say is that um, the heat products, you're not able to use them. So um, there's no versatility with uh, the styles. You, what's baked into that style and that is it. So you cannot use heat products to your synthetic. Also, if you're like a baker or you like to sit around the fire pit, um, stay away because you, you might sizzle up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the last thing that is um, a huge factor, I think, and um, a decision is um, the longevity of the piece. Um, synthetics just do not last as long. So um, when you think about budget, although they are budget friendly, um, you're looking at buying a synthetic piece more often, say every two to three months. So um, you got to think about that long term, how that affects your wallet. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thank you. That's very helpful. Yes. So Mirna, we spoke about some of the pros and cons of synthetics, but when we're getting into human hair wigs, what are some of the pros that you find there? Well, yeah. So the first thing that comes to mind is it feels like bio hair. So the move, it's going to be more natural. The touch is going to be more natural. The sheen is going to be more natural. So that is the number one pro. Uh, the next thing that I would say um, is definitely a pro for human hair is you're able to customize it because it is human hair, you're able to color it and add any personal touches that 
um, you see fit for yourself. If you need layers or if you would like a, you know, shaded root or, you know, maybe a balayage style, that can be done to customize it to how you prefer. So you have a human hair piece on yourself. And so have you done any customizing to it? I have. So I have actually owned this piece for over two years and I have had it customized and refreshed. So um, with wear of just like your normal bio hair in sunlight, you know, just regular wear and tear of your with your hair, um, it, she, she needed a little bit more love and some dimension. So I had her sent in and had some um, dimension put in it, had some color put in it. So that's the beauty of owning a human hair piece. Nice, okay. Yeah. So are there any other pros that you can think of with yes. human hair? And I think this is something that goes in um, with an investment. Like human hair is a little bit more expensive, but it's an investment because you're gonna have it for a much longer period of time. Um, the longevity is there. You're able to um, wear her for a, you know years to come versus you know not being able to. So Myrna, what are some of the cons with human hair wigs? So a con with human hair wig, um, is that they definitely require more care and maintenance. You're gonna be um, washing more often and blow drying, styling, using heat tools more often. Um, you're definitely gonna use more product. Um, you know, you're gonna use your um, thermal heat sprays and um, masks to keep them conditioned. Um, so just a little bit more care to them. Okay, nice. Yeah. Anything else that you could think of? Yeah. So human hair is just like your bio hair. It's sensitive to the elements. So um, if you are in a drier uh, climate, such as in the winter times when you have a lot of, you know, your heat on, um, it can really dry out your hair. Same thing with the human hair pieces. Um, in humid, in humid weather, um, you might have a freshly styled wig that poofs out because it's gone outside into the elements. Um, and lastly, one of the last things that I can say about um, human hair that some people might find a con is the price point. They are much more expensive, so that could be tougher on someone that is looking for more of a budget-friendly option. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's very insightful because I know, you know, I've never worn wigs of either kind before. So when people ask questions about how do I know which way to go, hopefully all of those answers uh, just inspired some thought. I hope you guys got a lot of info and a lot of your questions answered out of this video. If you'd like more information, click down below for an article all about synthetic wigs. We also have an article below about human hair wigs as well. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.